You know what? First of all, two people that work, they're right. Eagles were not going to beat the uh, Cowboys were not going to beat the Eagles. And um, I'm an idiot to think I could trash talk to, trash talk against the Philadelphia Eagles being a Cowboys fan. Haven't I learned my lesson already? You can't. You, being a Cowboys fan, you cannot truly trash talk and back it up. It's impossible. I did. It came back to bite me in the ass. And embarrassment does not come even close. You let him score 21 points in the first quarter. 200 yards of offense in the first quarter. And what did the offense respond to it? Like 50 yards in the first half? The only shiny lights were Laurent Robinson and DeMarco Murray when he had the ball. You know, I feel bad for DeMarco Murray and Philip Tanner. They didn't get a chance to show what they really had because we were constantly trying to fight from behind and never got in front. DeMarco Murray carried the ball eight times for 74 yards. I mean, that's good. Seven, eight times for 74 yards is not bad. I just, God, what is with this team? What is with this team? And it's not even Tony Romo thing. It's a team thing. They'll they'll be high on a pedestal one week, and then they'll be at the bottom of the basement the next. It almost makes me jealous of the Detroit Lion fan base because they are always bad. At least this, you know, they beat the shit out of Denver today. But as a franchise, i have like you know, I'm 19 years old. I'll turn 20 next year. The Cowboys are have a supposedly have a winning tradition. I I mean I was three years old the last time they won a Super Bowl. The Cowboys that I know are inconsistent, inconsistent, don't rise to the occasion type of team. And having that week after week after week, year after year, it makes me you know at least Detroit Lion fans they know they're bad. They know this franchise is bad, but they stick with their team anyway. I'm going to stick with my team, but it's... I need some Prozac by the time by the time the game's over. <laughs> Tony didn't have any time to throw, and if he did, it was a, usually dumb throws. Martellus Bennett caused his only interception of the game. I never liked Martellus Bennett. I just thought, I don't think he's that good. Oh my god. 34-7. I knew. S eh. Oh my God! Demar, I'm not. I'm trying not. I'm. I'm trying not to take a lot away from what I did see. That was good. Wait a second. That's not a lot, is that? No. It was mostly bad. Thirty-four to seven. There's not a lot of things good about that. Are the Eagles a real deal? Don't know. You're more real deal than we are. And it gets to the point where you don't even feel bad for the team anymore. The games that I get upset with are we, when we're in the game. The, the Jets game of this year, and same thing with the Detroit Lions. When we're in the, the Tom Brady, the Patriots game. When we're actually in the game. That's different. That's different than being completely dominated. I got to the point where I wasn't feeling bad for anybody. You guys probably the same way. How can you feel bad for that? Sure, I'm like, what's wrong with this team? But you don't understand. I'm not necessarily mad. I'm fr I'm of course I'm frustrated, but why should I be mad at a team that doesn't want who pretty much showed that they were quitting in the first quarter? They were quitting in the first quarter. How can you feel bad for someone like that? Because as as far as I'm concerned, a lot about this organization is the downfall of us all. You heard the guy. Makes me sick. Makes me sick. But you know what? I had a good weekend. I had a productive weekend, I think. I'm not going to let this game ruin it. And it's just a game, people. Anyone who's just saying, Oh, it's the end of the world. Oh, blah, blah. Shut up. It's football. Sure, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pissed off. But guess what? I'm going to have. I'm gonna watch some movies. I'm going to talk to some friends. And everything's going to be fine. We're all live. We're fine. This video is long enough. Cowboys, you embarrass me once again. <laughs> it's 
See you next week.